So at the Speed Center, for years, we've been looking at flood risk in Houston. We've done a lot of modeling of Houston's bayous and floodplains, and we're really getting into this conversation about um, what are the relative contributions of climate change, land use, land cover change, and subsidence to our urban flood risk in Houston. I um, worked on this paper while I was in the Netherlands, and one of the things that has frequently been in the national media after major um, and extreme events, in, especially in the U.S., is um, to what extent is climate change impacting these events? And what we uh, were striving to do in this paper was to answer that question. So how has climate change impacted the flooding or the rainfall that we saw from Hurricane Harvey? Um, and so we modeled Hurricane Harvey in the 1900 climate, and we modeled Hurricane Harvey in today's climate, and we saw that there was a three times more likely chance of Harvey occurring in today's climate as in the 1900 climate. That has a lot to do with um, the changing boundary conditions. So as the world gets warmer, as the globe gets hotter, um, the likelihood of these storms, these storms are becoming more intense and more frequent, and so their likelihood is increasing, um, especially along the Gulf Coast region. But the takeaway from this paper is Harvey is more intense and is more likely in today's climate. And when we are considering the design of our infrastructure in Houston, we probably should be taking these types of events into consideration. We will never design for an event as gigantic as, as Harvey. It's, it's one, we found in this paper that um, in some areas of Harris County, Harvey had a return period of one in 9,000, and we typically design for a return period of one in 100 in the Houston region. Um, so Harvey is much more extreme than what we design for, but it does highlight the need to consider the fact that our um, hazards are changing over time and that we should be considering this in the design of our infrastructure and planning for this in the design of our infrastructure.